good night to come, Jerry. Yes, I did. It got flow going early. Well, I, I mentioned it to uh, uh, earlier. It seemed like the defense got going, got you all going in your offense. Yeah, you know, we game plan for them a little bit different than, differently than we did the first time. Robert Martinez is a terrific player. He's leading the country in threes. Chavez, kid from Houston. I wish I'd have gotten him. But, um, you know, we committed to not helping off him and just staying with him. And really, the truth is I kind of got the idea from their coach because they did that to Travis in the first game. And so we were effective. He didn't get going. We defended well. Some of their other kids didn't get going, too. And then all of a sudden, we started shooting the ball. We got some easy looks, layups, and then we hit some threes. And then I thought the flood gates open. Your wings started, you started to get a feel for the game. They got going early. They got shots and all, good open looks. And then it was like the damn bus. Yeah, I mean, I think that's exactly right. We got some layups. Henrik Jean got some layups early on. And then Caleb and Adrian hit some threes. And then we were feeling good. And we were in the rhythm. And heck, Derek banked one in, you know, uh, early in the first half. And that's when I knew, boy, the, the, the gods were looking over us tonight. The other thing is, you and I have been in this business a long time. That love, you go in at halftime, you yeah. come back out. Yeah. That first four, two minutes of the second half is very crucial. Well, you know, Travis uh, Lampley, who's from Reagan right here in the city, is you know leading the country in assists. He's our quarterback. He's played major minutes. I've probably played him too many minutes this year. But, um, you know, he, he makes us feel very secure. He picked up his third foul early on, and I thought that was interesting. I, I mean, we were in good shape, obviously, up by a lot at half. But, but to uh, then be able to sit him and then kind of keep the lead and maybe even extend it a little bit, that's when we knew we were in good shape. And I think times like that really help us build confidence as a team, too. Talk about this conference. You know, it's, it's, it's got a couple of teams in the top 25. You all are starting to see your votes now. If you close out this weekend, you, you may pick up a couple of more votes. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think this is a it's a, it's a great league. Uh, you know, NAI league, it's big. It's got a lot of different people all over New Mexico, Oklahoma, Louisiana. Uh, you know, HBU was in it and dominated for many, many years. Uh, I think we were lucky to be a part of it. Um, but, yeah, I think right now, Sagu is the top, you know, 20 team. They're very good. They're coming here on Saturday. We're playing good basketball. It should be a great game. And then you've got LSU Shreveport and Texas College. LSU Shreveport's in the, I think, the, you know, 20 to 25 range. Right now, terrific young coach with great talent. You know, a young man from Houston, Rodney Milam, who can really shoot the ball. And, uh, and then Texas College, too. So I think the five of us are pretty solid. Our Lady of the Lake, they get a kid back or two, and I think they'll be in the thick of things, too. Now the season is getting to a close. These seniors and all, this, especially guys that have been here four years, you know, they, they put a lot of time in. They've, they've gone through a lot of uh, yeah, you know, up and down roller coaster rides. It's interesting, too. And, and uh, the truth is that they came in here four years ago with me and committed to the University of St. Thomas and something that didn't even exist. We won 10 games our first year, 13 games our second year, 18 games last year, and now we've won 18 games this year with some more games to go. So um, we've continually built. They've committed. They've gone all in. It's been terrific. Uh, I've been very fortunate and lucky to have them. Um, the funny, interesting thing for me is being in kind of a conference race, having such a great year late. There's not a lot of talk about just, you know, your last home game or you only have two more at home. And, and uh, I kind of mentioned it tonight for the first time. We've only got three more chances here at, in Houston, um, and now it's down to two. But it's funny how things change when you're in the conference race. You're more worried about the games and the last home game and stuff. But they've been great. I know it's the time of this year is in uh, Wachahassee. Uh, and then you all go the Nationals as well this year. Well, Kansas City. Kansas City hosts the Nationals almost every year. Tulsa hosted it for a while. Um, and, you know, that's everybody's goal is the top 32 teams make it to um, to Kansas City. And, I, you know, we have a chance right now, but you have to win the regular season or the tournament or get an at-large. Obviously, an at-large is going to be tough for us. So my thing is we got to try to win the regular season. Is there anything else I hadn't mentioned about? Oh, no. what, uh, what else is going on here on campus? You know, well, you know since our, you were our, one of the guys in charge. Well, our women's basketball team has uh, ha really had a good year after last year. You know, their inaugural year and um, not getting a lot of wins. Uh, Coach Rick's got kind of brought in a new roster full of Houston area kids, and right now it's 13 and 12 or 13 and 13. I'm not 100 percent sure uh, after tonight. Um, and so they've had a really good season. I think they're very proud of the steps. I'm very proud of the steps that they've made. And. Golf is finally starting this spring. Our men's and women's team are going to Laredo to play this weekend in soccer and volleyball and spring training stuff. So it's been really fun. Um, it's been a great year, and we just want to keep it going. All right. Reintroduce yourself for folks that Todd are Smith, on. University of St. Thomas Athletic Director and Men's Basketball Coach. Jerry, I appreciate it. I hope we get a good crowd out on And on this is Saturday. Jerry Lee Willard Jr. for the College Sports Report. Thank you, sir.